In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the location settings that you set before you start a new file in UC WinRoad. If you go up to Options, Application Options, then Location Settings, the Location Settings list shows what locations you have available to use on your computer. Your list is going to be a lot shorter than mine because I make new locations for each file that I make. So there's and it saves them so you can use them for future files or copy them if you know that you have the same settings for a new file and you just want to rename it. So I'm going to start out with new and this is actually going to take a little bit of time to load because it's loading all of the 3D models that I have to be available to use inside of this location settings if I actually want them to be loaded when the file starts. So this sets the location settings will set your your lat long coordinates of where your your the center point of your file is which is important for things like the changing of the date and time the the, the sun location and things of that nature it also lets you set the sections the road sections that you're going to be using for default when roads are created and what side of the road you're going to be driving on which is important because you need to do that before the file is loaded you need to have the, the side of the road you're going to drive on set, and that's done through this location settings window. So the name is also important because this will show up in whatever UC WinRoad file you're using, that the name of your location settings will be in the top right corner. So for instance, I'm going to call this one Phoenix. AZ for Phoenix, Arizona. And you need to select an available country, so I'm going to pick the USA because that's where Phoenix is. Now there's a few ways you can get the lat long. You can just pick it, which is kind of inaccurate due to the size of the map. I mean, if you only want a general area of where it is, this is ge this is used for geo-referencing your file, and as well as for creating where the 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 sun position will be the, in your file, depending on where you're the t what time zone you're in. So I actually know my lat long coordinate from Google Earth, which I have pulled up here with my Google Earth. Um, place mark. So I'm just going to type those coordinates in. So it's 33 degrees 30 minutes and 47.5 north by 111 57 minutes and 46.5 seconds and that's north and west and I'm going to go to next and this is important driving on the left driving on the right obviously in Phoenix we're going to be driving on the right uh, conflict crossings I generally leave as default and you go to next and it gives you a bunch of driving rules so roads with more lanes has more priority in the U.S., equal if there's no traffic signal, it doesn't matter the amount of lanes. Whatever, ha whoever, the subsequent rules apply. They have equal priority, and this is correct. In the U.S., vehicles do give way to the right, so that's correct. So we'll go on to the next one. Rule two of three: left turning conflicts where two cars are turning left, the vehicles give way to the right, which is also correct. And when we're a car turning right and a car turning left the right turner has the right of way so that is correct and then vehicles must stop vehicles give way here so this is an option for right on red if you want to have right on red enabled the roundabouts we generally leave default as well so after we go through the traffic rules now we have the option for our default traffic lights our orientation is defaulted to vertical so we'll change this to vertical and then you have settings for your lights, it, what what kind of lights you want on. I mean, it's going to default to your your red, yellow, and green lights are already in the, the main lights. But if you want things like a yellow flashing light or something along those lines or arrow or different turn arrow lights. So in the arrow lights, you can turn on green, yellow, and red arrows. And if you just if you wanted a main light to flash, sometimes turning on yellow flashing and red flashing, that would give you the option of using those at a later time. I think you have to default this to a second. Okay, now if now when we have the light set, the default phase times are fine because that's you can change that later on. Now we're gonna go to next. My name is invalid. I forgot to name it. I'm just gonna call it USA. 
now now this is the models that will load so these are all the available models that I have in my in my models list right now so these will load into the file as it's as the fi any file that has these location settings will load with all these models in it so I'm just gonna select all of these things and move all these models over to be selected models so all these models will load into my next window or into my and whenever I make create a file with this Phoenix AZ location settings all of these will already be in the file for me and then you have to choose a traffic profile so these are all the cars that I have to choose from so I'm just gonna pick the traffic profile you can we generally edit this inside the file itself so this doesn't have to be exact you can add a couple cars here if you want to so that way when you start traffic these cars will be inside the model we'll just put a bus in a couple cars and then the next thing is the is the default sections now I'm gonna have way more sections because my sections folder is is fairly full of sections due to the amount of files in UC Winrow that I've created but the top ones are the same so once my sections all load I'm gonna just can keep the the default section so default these sections default section default section one lane each way and default one way ramp so default section I'm gonna change make this if you right click it if any of the sections you can right click and make it a two way road or you need a one you need a default one way ramp and a default two way road and then once you have that done you click finish and now you can see that Phoenix AZ is in my location settings. So now if I close this, <clears throat> actually don't close it yet, I'm going to click default. Because clicking default on this, the default button will make now Phoenix AZ is my default location settings. So now if I close this and I go to new default project, as this project loads, it will take a second, it's setting the location settings that we just created. And you can already see in the top right corner, it says Phoenix AZ. So Phoenix is already my default location settings. Now it's loaded, asked for before, it's loading those models into this file as it's opening. Let's only take a second. second okay now that this file is open can see if I go to my model editor you can see that these are all the models that I told it to load and if I go to my section editor these are the three sections that I told it to load and traffic is definitely dry will be driving on the right hand side of the road and that does it for the tutorial on location settings thanks